Hi, so I'm Christina Mortali. I am a junior at Smith College and I am the head con chair of Combus 2015. My name is Savina. I like to be called Vina. I am a senior at Tonus Falls High School, though Smith is a college that I really want to go to. This is a combination of every con I've ever gone to. Orihime wig, Kanami Chiri bow, and then um, these are just other pieces of like different skirts and shorts that I was going to use for different cons. Hello, I'm RJ Van Wagner, ho owner of The Tomb, and we are at Con Bus this weekend at Smith College in Northampton, Mass, and we are coming to an end of our weekend. It's Sunday afternoon. And Things are starting to wind down, but we still had a great time this weekend. Thank you very much for having us here, and I plan on being back here next year. Uh, what you see in front of you is a collimation of different um, artists from the area. My business partner, Rachel, does all the jewelry, and my wife and my mother-in-law do all the crochet and knit, the stuffed animals, and I do the t-shirts and custom-made vampire fangs for anybody who wants them. See? Hello. I'm Jared Forbes, and I represent Night Shift Comics. It's a company that me and my girlfriend run. We make our own web comics, and then we print them out. We've been doing conventions now for about a year. Um, actually, we're at Conbus in Smith College right now, and this is our second year doing it, and Conbus was our first convention last year. Um, so, yeah, it's been a year now. We have a bunch of different series. Uh, we have Kick-Ass Make Awesome. This is a series that I run myself been doing about five years now and it's mostly video game humor and nerd humor this is a story about elves and dragons it's fully self-contained it's finished now we also just do a series of comics online um, we do like short little 30 page stories and then when we're done we print them out sell them this is our first one that we've done together the mountain of almost certain doom comedy fantasy stuff if you like Dungeons and Dragons or World of Warcraft our latest one Lessons in Magic for Beginners is a cute story family friendly just witches that trying to learn magic and just can't get it right hi I'm Kate Carpenter and I'm dressed as Celestia Ludenberg from Danganronpa um, I am an artist here at Conbust. This is my first year selling at Conbust, but I have done other conventions in the past, such as another anime convention in New Hampshire, and I will be doing Anime Boston next week and, and several others this year. Uh, my name is Michael Terracciano. My friends all call me Mookie. I'm the writer for the sci fi superhero space adventure webcomic called Star Power. Um, live in the Massachusetts area. Um, I've been doing webcomics for over a well over 10 years. Uh, Star Power is the new uh, webcomic I write uh, with my artist friend Garth Graham. Um, it's the sci-fi superhero space adventure that we weren't seeing, so we made it ourselves. Yeah, totally self-published, self-printed. Um, we, we update it three days a week on the, on the web, and we collect the story, the, each storyline into these trades. Uh, funded through Kickstarter. We were very lucky to get this first trade funded through a, a successful Kickstarter campaign. And um, we hope to keep doing that with uh, future storylines. I'm Jackie. I live north of Boston. Right now I am a special education teacher, um, though I also crochet things to sell, as seen here. Um, I am actually not that involved in the nerd community. I, this is the second con I've ever attended and the first one I've ever worked at. And my major involvement is in the Harry Potter, Avengers, um, so not nearly as involved as a lot of people that are here right now. Yeah, so this started um, way many years back. The five colleges in the area, which are Amherst, UMass, Mount Holyoke, Smith, Hampshire, they all got together and had a traveling con that was hosted at a different college every year. And this convention kind of branched off of that. Smith decided we wanted to start having our own just here, and that's how Compass originated. Um, we've been around for 13 years. Um, it's very local. I recognize a lot of the people that are here, so that's very cool. It's smaller. Um, the other con that I went to is um, Anime Boston, which is nice. Uh, this con is more broad opposed to just anime. It has a lot of other stuff. 
So that is very different. So I've been to Connecticut, which is right in Connecticut, which I enjoy very much. I've been to VassarCon, which is up in Vassar. Um, through my experience with conventions, I find I really like smaller conventions. Um, bigger conventions like are really are really fun, but. Um, it's less personal than it is and having a small con really is about the people and about the relationships and about communicating and learning more about each other and the community around you so in that way i think combust is really unique that we're a small con that originates all about women in um these different forms of media which is really unique this convention has been pretty decent i didn't expect to bring in the revenue from a convention this size uh, and it, I actually really liked talking to the people that um, that came along. It was very, very interesting. I like the homey feel of this convention, and I did bring in a decent amount of, of cash and, um, and met a lot of really cool people. I, I really like doing the small college conventions. Um, you get a much different crowd than you do at the larger uh, Comic-Con ones. I mean, there's more people at the Comic-Con ones, but there's more people interested in independently made art at these smaller cons than, you know, at the giant ones that get thousands of people. Um, I say, like, if you're th only thinking about it, like, if you're just, like, wondering, should I do it? I say go for it. Because, I mean, I remember I've been wanting to do this for years and years, and I wish that I'd started earlier because it's, some, it's a really, really great experience. I love doing the job. It's kind of hard work, but it's, like, something that's really, really great to do. Then again... A lot of it has to do with luck, you know, are you in a good position? Do you have the thing that people are looking for at this particular convention? Um, but typically we do better at the smaller conventions than we do at the larger ones. I don't have a great sense of how women are treated in this community beyond kind of what I know. Um, I know that especially like with Harry Potter, which is what I'm most involved in. Uh, there is a lot of acceptance, there is a lot of involvement, but that is kind of where my experience ends, unfortunately. <laughs> um, yeah, I haven't had any issues, no. So I believe as a woman, in this kind of industry with artist alleys and stuff, I feel like it's actually very nice. There's not a lot of... Uh, I guess sexism going on around here. In fact, most of the time, artist alleys are women dominated. I've seen, like, maybe not in comic conventions, but at anime conventions and conventions like this, usually I see mostly women. And I have never been, you know, told I was bad because I was a girl or anything of that sort. However, there are times when I'll get, you know, creeped on. People will, like, touch me inappropriately against my consent and stuff. And that kind of stuff does not. Uh, but. Aside from that, I feel like things have been going pretty well for me, despite any sort of genders. <laughs> All right, it's got a long way to go. I definitely think the nerd community, especially conventions, are an overly male-dominated space, and we need more great, powerful, strong women protagonists and antagonists. For example, I think if I was in the comic book world, I would be a super strong, powerful female protagonist. There's so many powerful, strong women out there, and we're not being accurately represented in these different forms of media. So that's really what we're about at Combust. We have a lot of strong women, a lot of strong non-binary people running this convention to ensure that we get better representation. Very few comics pass the Bechdel test, which is a test saying that you have this is, it seems like it's easy to pass, but so many few forms of media do. You need to have more than two female characters with names. Those two female characters with names have to talk to each other, and they have to talk with each other about something other than a man. So it sounds like, doesn't that sound easy, two women talking about something besides a man? Most forms of media, especially in the nerd community, don't even pass that simple, simple test. So I don't know if this is too much to even ask two women to talk to each other. Even that seems like a big stretch. I think the community is making great strides. and um, But yeah, there's a lot of over-sexualized um, women who are in distress. And we need more heroes. Yeah. <laughs>